This is a demo of my OLED display now. It's in a fully static state at the moment. I'll just run my Android app. If I can find it. Okay, connecting. Connected. See the Bluetooth icons came on. Now we'll switch on the heater. Heater started. You see the glow plugs turned on, fan started up, reporting the wattage of the glow plug and the fan RPM. And at the moment it's set into fixed mode, you can see the target setting is 1.4 Hz. The temperature on the left is being read from the DS18B20. The temperature to the right is the body temperature, which at the moment I just have a pot on there so I can adjust the temperature to make the heater think it's actually got a ignition source. So it's waiting for the fuel pump to start. We can change the demanded um, pump rate through the Android. Yeah, it's now 2.3 hertz. And there's the maximum 4 hertz. So the pump started. See, so it's pumping at 1.4 hertz at the moment. Now I'll pretend that things actually caught a light wind the temperature up on the body ignited you know, heating heat exchanger android apps talking to me saying we've moved into the ignited phase of the heater slowly and carefully wiring up the temp now this takes a few minutes to actually um, get to the full normal running state. So we'll just pretend it's warming up. Take it up to about 100 degrees or so. Fan speeding up, pump speeding up. Oh, that's far enough, 130, 110. All comes on with a rush at the end of the pot. So it gets up to something like three and a half thousand revs the fan for this preheat stage. RPM's been measured off the magnets on the fan blow. So I can actually knock up to about four and a half, five thousand revs at two feet dead. It's interesting when it is starting up like this, it goes to a higher fan speed and pump speed than what you've actually got programmed in as a maximum.
outside is going to go to the speed as programmed. This is fuel rates back off to 4 hertz. The fan's starting to slow down. a bit more. You see that tracks down, the target's two and a half now. You see the actual one at the right hand side starting to reduce down as well. It's all very careful and controlled when it changes the fuel settings. Fans backing off, fuel's backing off. Here we'll go to the switch off stage, we'll press the Android again, fire our command over Bluetooth. Shutting meter done. And we're starting the shutdown cycle, glow plugs turn back on and the fuel's backing right off and eventually will stop fairly soon. So the glow plug is turning on to actually dry out any fuel and the fan keeps on blowing through to help with the drying process. Peaking up at around 90 watts on the glow plug. Peter measures both the voltage and the current. I'm multiplying them to show you watts on the screen here. Pump stopped. Now it's entering the cooling phase where it just keeps on running the fan just to shed the heat out of the body of the heat exchanger. So I can quickly simulate that by winding down the, the knob again. Once you get below about 55 it turns off. And down there. 65, 60, there we go, 55 is stopped. Down. All stopped. Interestingly enough, if I turn the temperature back up, it'll start up again. Shutting heater down. So it's trying to cool the heater down once again. The temperature's got too hot on the body, so it's quite quite a good idea I suppose if it gets too hot again after it stopped the fan it has another crack at pulling it down. So we'll just back that off again. That will stop soon. There we go. All Shut finished. Down. Now I can actually go to my Bluetooth app and disconnect that. Bluetooth's gone away. So, there we go.